Hello everyone, this is Mr. H again, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be focusing on finding the derivative of a function. First, let's take a look at the different basic derivative rules. So the very first rule is what we call the constant rule. So the derivative of any constant will be equal to zero. Say, for example, finding the derivative of positive 100 will be equal to 0. Say, for example, finding the derivative of 1 half will be equal to 0. So you might have learned the concept of derivatives. And uh, derivatives are the slopes of the function. The second rule we have is what we call the constant multiple rule. Say, for example, we need to find the derivative. So C stands for the constant. Now, for this rule to be applied, we can separate the constant first before finding the derivative. All right, so the third rule is what we call the power rule. Say you have d over dx of x to the power of n. So the derivative will be n times x to the power of n minus 1. And the fourth rule is what we call the sum rule. Say we have d over dx. So we have f of x plus g of x. So to find the derivative of that will be equal to f prime of x plus g prime of x. It's just basically finding the derivative of each term. All right, so the next rule is what we call the difference rule. So the difference rule is kind of similar to the sum rule. It's just here the operation is subtraction. Say we have the derivative of f of x minus g of x. So it's just here we're getting the derivative of each term. So it will be equal to f prime of x minus g prime of x. The next rule is what we call the product rule. So d over dx times, so product, so the operation is multiplication. So you have, for example, the f of x times g of x will be equal to um, f of x times the derivative of g of x. So that's going to be g prime of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. So that's f prime of x. All right, so the next rule, what we call the quotient rule, finding the derivative of f of x divided by g of x. So that's going to be equal to g of x times the derivative of f of x, which is f prime of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x, which is g prime of x divided by the square of g of x. And so for our last row is what we call the chain rule. So chain rule, for example, we have d over dx, f of g of x. So this will be equal to f prime of g of x times the derivative of the inside, which is g prime of x. All right, so these are the basic derivative rules that we will be applying in answering a few examples. All right, so let's take a look at example number one. All right, so for example number one, we have 
to find the derivative of y equals 3x to the power of 7 minus 7x cubed plus 21x squared. So for this given function to find the derivative, you can see that um, it's going to be a mixture of different rules, right? But one thing that you will be doing here is you will be differentiating each term. All right, at the same time, we will be applying here the, the power rule as well. So y prime equal to, so you put the 7 down, so it will be 7 times 3 times x to the power of 7 minus 1. So that is for the first term. Then second term will be, so point of 3, so 3 times 7 times x to the power of 3 minus 1. That's for the second term. And for the third term, bring down 2. So 2 times 21 times x raised to 2 minus 1. It's going to be 21 x to the power of 6 minus 21 x squared plus 42 x so that is the answer that is an expanded form in factored form you can have 21 x times x to the power of 5 minus x plus 2 either of the two is acceptable all right so second example Find dy over dx of the function f of x is equal to the square root of 2x plus 1. So basically here you can see that it, the given function is in, in third form, right? But technically this function is also equal to, if you're going to rewrite it in exponential form, it's going to be 2x plus 1 to the power of 1 half need to rewrite first the given function and proceed with finding the derivative of that. So f prime of x will be equal to, so put the exponent down, so it's going to be 1 half, copy 2x plus 1, and we subtract 1 from the exponent. And remember to get the derivative of the base, which is 2x plus 1. So chain rule. So 2x plus 1, the derivative of that is 2. All right. So remember to not ignore this last step. And so basically for this given function, you need to apply chain rule. Okay, so this one, 2, which will be another factor coming from the derivative of the base. So 2 times 1 half is 1. Then we have 2x plus 1. So 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So this is actually the derivative. If you want to rewrite it in different form in which there will be no negative exponent or in third form, so again, it will be dependent on how the answers are presented, right? But technically, this one is already okay. So if you want to rewrite it in other form, then we can have f prime of x will be equal to 1 over so 2x plus 1 to the power of 1 half so if the answer needs to be presented without negative exponent then this way and 
if insert form is going to be 1 divided by the square root of 2x plus 1. So either, okay, this one is okay. This is other form. And this is the other one. All right, so let's head on to the third question. Find the first derivative of the function g of x equals 1 over 3x squared minus 5 over 2x. All right, so for this given function, all right, it's all up to you. You can stick to the given function and start getting the derivative of the given function, or you can rewrite it. If, for example, rewriting this given function will make it easier for you to figure out how to find the derivative. So it's all up to you, but you have to be really careful in rewriting and make sure that when you rewrite the original function, it's, it's still correct, okay? All right, so g of x will be equal to, so I'm gonna be putting the variable on top, x to the power of negative two over three. So you, you need to leave the numerical coefficient here. So only the variable x is raised to the power of two. So that's what I had to put up. So I changed the position. So remember the rule of exponents. Okay, so minus 5 x to the power of negative 1 divided by 2. So g prime of x, so applying the constant multiple rules, there's a numerical coefficient of 1 over 3, so we take that out first, getting the derivative of x to the power of negative 2. So negative 2. So that's the derivative of the first term. Minus. So we can take out 5 over 2. Derivative of x to the power of negative 1. So put down negative 1. Times x to the power of negative 1 minus 1. So that's the derivative of the second term. So we'll have g prime of x. 2 times x to the power of negative 3, 5 over 2, times x to the power of negative 2. So negative 2 times 1 over 3 is negative 2 over 3. And then from here, you can rewrite the final answer. So, this is actually negative 2 over 3. Okay, we can remove this. We remove the parentheses. Here. So, that's technically the answer. But if you want to rewrite it without the negative exponents, then we can present our answer this way. So, we can have negative 2. 3x cubed plus 5 divided by 2x squared. And that is the answer. All right, so example number 4. So as you can see here, you're given two factors. And from here, you should be able to think that the product rule must be applied. All right, so to find the derivative, so we have y prime, take the first factor, x squared plus 1, times the derivative of the second factor, which is 1, plus, so derivative of x is 1, so derivative of 5 is 0, and derivative of x to the power of negative 1 is this one plus take the second factor so x plus 5 
plus 1 over x. So derivative of x squared is 2x. And the, and the derivative of the constant is 0. So only that one. Okay, let me just rewrite this. Okay, so x squared plus 1. And then you have 1 minus x to the power of negative 2. So I can have 1 over x squared plus, oh, for this term, we can just apply the distributive property. So we can have, so let's work out the first term first by applying the distributive property or multi multiplying these two factors right here. So y prime is equal to, all right, so x squared times 1 is x squared. x squared times negative 1 over x squared is negative 1. 1 times negative 1 over x squared is negative 1 over x squared. The rest of the term. So we have 2x squared plus 10x plus 2. And then from here, we can combine like terms. So, so this is the answer. So the derivative of the, the given function is 3x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 10x plus 2. All right, so on to our last example. All right, so this is the fifth question. Find the derivative of the function f of t equals t squared minus 1 divided by t squared plus t minus 2. All right, so for any given function, you can have a look at it first. If you can do something about the function to have it reduced or simplified. One, t squared minus 1 can be written so t plus 1 and t minus 1 divided by and you can see that we can cancel t minus 1 out and we're going to be left with t plus 1 divided by t plus 2. So this is what we're going to differentiate t plus 1 divided by t plus 2. And from here we can apply the quotient rule f prime of t will be equal to t plus 2 times the derivative of t plus 1 minus t plus 1 times the derivative of t plus 2 divided by the square of t plus 2. So we simplify everything in the numerator. So we get t plus 2, negative 2, negative 1, divided by the square of t plus 2. All right, so let's simplify the 1 in the numerator. So, we, so t minus t is 0. So 2 minus 1 is 1 over t plus 2 squared. All right, so this is the derivative of the function with respect to t. So in this case, you don't really need to expand the denominator. You can only do that if something can be canceled out. If you learned something new, so please give me a thumbs up, share the video, and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Math Hub by Mr. H. And I'll see you on my next video.